you think it's about the big things, but it's always about the little things. You're probably not paying attention, but 20 years later, when you're sitting in a divorce court or with lawyers, you realize, ah, I knew it. I knew it from the beginning because it's always about the little things. Remember your first date, perhaps your date was nasty to the waitress, talking too much, being very selfish in conversation. And you just go, well, it's no big deal. It will be a big deal later on, maybe five years, maybe 20 years, maybe 30 years. But there will be a time when you will rewind the tape and go, ah, it was the little things. Or maybe you're dating someone who dated you when they were cheating and ah, they'll never do it to me. And then you wonder, how could this have happened? It's always there and it's always about the little things. You know, I doing this made me think of my husband and this moment when I decided to marry him, he doesn't even know. But there was this bird that came into our house and I caught him, I was doing something, but I caught him at the window with a broom, talking to the little bird, saying, it's time to go now, little bird, it's time to go. <laughs> and he was so gentle with that bird that it was that moment that I said, ah, oh, this is someone I could be with. So. It's time to pay attention, to look at the red flags, the signs, the way the universe is always talking to us, and to listen to those little things that are so precious, so divine, that will tell us everything we need to know so we are not in a divorce lawyer's office wondering how the hell did we get there. It is for us to pay attention to those divine little things.